In this video, I'm gonna go over two simple renewable power options using electrical edge mode and nuclear tech mode using the water turbines and the small rotating solar panel. The changes that you need to make in the config files for electrical edge mode is the watch to EU, cable power factor, the solar panel power factor and the water turbine power factor. Pause the video if you want to and make these changes in the config file. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So we are going to start this video with the water turbine. If we take a look at the details, the nominal voltage for this turbine is 50 volts and the power produced is 150 watt. Now the voltage will be more than the given voltage and the power produced will be less. But let's count 150 watts. We will have total 12 turbines in a single module and that will give us 1.8 kilowatt of power. So for placing down 3 turbines, you need to break 9 blocks like this. So that's the space for 3 turbines, leave a single block gap and make another row of 9. So here we have made space for placing down 6 turbines in total. Place down a water source on any of the one side and then start placing your turbines. So as I told you 9 blocks will give you space for placing down 3 water turbines. Now that's one side done. Let's leave a single block gap in the middle and do the same thing on the opposite end. So in this way the back of the turbines will be facing each other and that will make cable connection pretty easy. So for connecting the cable I am going to use medium voltage cable and bring them like this and in the middle place down energy exporter for converting all of the watts that we are producing into RF. Now going into the converter we are going to place down a DC DC converter and in the DC DC converter first place down your optical ferromagnetic core and for the ratio we are gonna have a ratio of 1 is to 16. So in the green side which is the turbine side we are gonna have a single cable and in the exporter side we are going to have total 16 cables that will multiply the voltage by 16 and as you can see voltage has started going up. Now for the exporter resistance set it to 512 and select the last option. Now while we wait for the voltage to go up slowly, let's make this build a little pretty by changing all of the sand blocks into concrete and ducrete like this and as you can see voltage is slowly going up. It will stabilize at around 52 volts. So for exporting all of that power, connect an RF to HE converter to the exporter like this and now as soon as we flick this lever on. The RF to HE converter will start producing or basically start transferring all of the power from the turbines. Now while we wait for the power to go up, let's take a look on the small rotating solar panel. So the max voltage here is 15 volts and the power is 260 watt. So we will have 13 panels in a single module. 260 times 13 will give us roughly 3.3 kilowatt of power using 13 solar panels in total. And that will consist or basically that will make one module. Now the dimensions will be the same as for the water turbine. So leaving one diagonal block gap place down a small rotating solar panel. Blue side is negative. The orange side is positive. So place down 13 next to each other and they will connect like this. Now once you have made a row of 13 at the very end make sure to place the grounding cable because if you don't do that then power won't be produced. So yeah, make sure to place ground cable and then right click each and every panel with the solar tracker. What this will do is align the solar panel with the sun. Now I have set my game rule or basically day night cycle to false. That's why the time is not changing. But if you will do this in survival, then the solar panels will rotate as the sun changes its position. Next, place down a DC DC converter. And once again, the ratio will be the same 1 is to 16 with an optical ferromagnetic core. And now connecting to this one, we can directly place an energy exporter. But if you want to, let's say, log the amount of power that you are producing, place down an electrical probe and connect it to the DC DC converter with a very high voltage cable. And do remember this, it needs to be a very high voltage cable. Now set the probe to measure power and the maximum power that it should measure is 3400 watt. Now place down an industrial data logger and in here set the unit to power and on the y-axis it should be 3400. So as you can see now the data logger 
will show us the amount of power that is being produced throughout the day. For the resistance, set it to 2700 on the very last option and as soon as you do it, power will start going up. That was a single module. I have made 4 such more modules, so there are 5 in total and connecting them, connecting them all to a single block, we will produce roughly 8.2 kWh per second. And now the water turbine has also stabilized, so we are getting roughly 800 Hg per second from the water turbines. Now of course this is from a single set of 12, you can expand this as much as you would like to. So these were two simple designs for renewable power. I hope you guys like this video, because if you did, do smash that like button. And also if you have any more ideas regarding electrical edge and nuclear tech mod, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try to make a video on it. So yeah, peace out guys and stay safe. I'll see you guys next time.